What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to play the front nine at Sanctuary on E6 Connect with the Mevo Plus. Um, E6 comes with the Mevo Plus. Back when I bought it in 2022, it came with six courses. Now with the 2023 edition, I believe it comes with 10 courses and there is no additional fee or subscription to use it on your iPad. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I, like I said, I've got it hooked up to my iPad Pro and I am using a USB-C to HDMI adapter to uh, plug it into my projector. So got it all set up here and uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've already got my user uh, in there and gonna play stroke play. And these are the six courses that came with my Mevo Plus. Like I said, if you buy the 2023 edition, you'll have 10, but I believe these are six that are included of the 10. And I'm gonna go with Sanctuary. And I have got it, the putting mode on auto score, which there's actually another one called Computer Decides. And Computer Decides, um, it says once you're on the green, it gives you a number of putts based on your distance to the hole, but there's an element of uh, randomness or chance to that. And then auto score, uh, it basically sounds similar, except it can give you, I guess, a birdie uh, if you are, if you do uh, like go on a hot streak, which is par or better on the previous three holes. So maybe, I don't know, that's a little bit of a fun variation um, to have that automatic. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and tee off. Um, I do have auto flybys turned on so we can kind of see the uh, course. And if you do notice on the projector, um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but because it's on the iPad, the resolution is slightly different. Um, it fills up most of my screen, and, uh, but there, it's slightly smaller compared to when I have my PC running, which I've got a custom resolution set to fix, fix uh, excuse me, to fit my screen. So if I was using the iPad only, I would uh, kind of adjust the zoom a little bit, but don't use it very often. So, I am trying to play more of a cut with my driver these days, or at least I'm not these days, but I'm trying it out. So I'm gonna aim a little bit left and uh, let's go ahead and tee off. Let's get a break here. Nope, we're in the bunker. All right. Oh, a little hook. No? Sit down. Soft. Okay. Definitely went farther than I thought. Now in the uh, top right in the mini map, you can see I'm, it shows that I am in the rough and it shows kind of how much power and spin I'm gonna have here, uh, which it's going to be reduced. 73 yards, kind of middle of the green. Um, and because I'm gonna lose some, I guess maybe I wanna play this uh, maybe like 80. Okay, a little long. And it gave me three putts. So, bogey there. <clears throat> A 
Guess I'm going to have to get closer. Now I've got about 80 feet of uh, drop in elevation from this tee shot. bit of a straighter ball, no cut. Okay. Just in the left rough there. Now we got 161 to this pin. 16 feet up and the pins in the back. So I think I want to play it basically 160. And if I lose some distance, that's okay. Cause I'd rather be in front of this pin. Uh, I forgot about the wind and it's actually showing me 15 miles an hour downwind. So, um, quite a lot of wind there that I was not paying attention to before. And then, man, it's going back and forth down. It's kind of gusting between six and 15 miles an hour. Sit. Just barely caught it. bit of a pull in an auto two putt. Now again, I'm using an iPad Pro. Um, so the graphics are not what you would expect from a PC uh, simulation software, but they're not bad either. I mean, it's not a cartoon. It looks pretty decent. Um, so again, not as far downhill as the others. Um, and we're just going to aim at the left edge of the fairway. Now, personally, I do like these kind of pop-ups that show me all the stats after I hit. Um, I like just getting that information thrown in my face. Um, and it also kind of slows me down between shots. Nope, just passed it. Okay. and a two putt. That's a good one. <laughs> Moving right. 
Oh, sit. Stay on. Okay, I'm on in two. Let's see what kind of uh, auto putt I get here. Oh, three putt for par. See if I can play the distance right. I'm gonna play it about 132. See what happens. I should say that um, I am playing sea level elevation uh, in the settings because that's where I live is basically sea level. So I don't really like using the course elevation, especially with a course like this that is up in the mountains. It just is uh, too much for me. <laughs> All right. See what we can do here. Oh, kick right. Kick right. Just on the fringe. Look at that, a one putt, made a birdie. Now, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if that's part of the hot streak or uh, that was just a kind of a random one putt birdie. <clears throat> okay, another par three. Where's the distance? Oh. Too far. Kick backwards. Got a bounce off the hill behind the green, and it looks pretty close. Carried 167, so yeah, just a little too, too long and left. And another one putt gimme. This might be the, the hot streak, so as long as I don't screw up, I keep making birdies or, or something like that. Uh, very cool. I think we're going to aim something like that. Uh, we'll see what happens. Didn't like that. I was on the heel and I guess with the face closed because that really didn't go anywhere and bad shot. Okay, this one will be a little challenging. Obviously, big loss of power and spin out of this stuff, if I can get it out at all. Uh, I think I wanna play something more like a 90 yard shot. Um, didn't get it out at all. Oh no. Well, there goes my hot streak. Still in this stuff. Um, you know, I'm not sure what to do other than to just try it again. And that one came out. What's the distance gonna be? Way too long. Oh no, hit the car path. Hit it again. Oh, that was the risk. That one I just took kind of a full swing sand wedge and yeah, I guess it didn't hit anything on the way out. And now I'm way over the green. So now what do we have here? It still says deep grass, but the the lie looks good. 62 yards, 
30 feet uphill. Let's give myself a little bit of room just in case. Let's just get this on the green and get off of this hole. Um, okay, 63 yards. Okay. Get as close as you can, man. Hopefully that's a one putt. Yep, one putt. I don't even know what that was in total. Let's see, it took me one, two in the grass, three over the green, four, just a bogey. Is that right? Okay. Well, let's just go on the conservative side, hit a little bit less than driver. We'll hit a five wood. And uh, just try and keep it in play, finish this off. All right, safely on the fairway. <laughs> yeah, it felt a little like a pull. Safely on the green. A little bit of a yank. Oh no, three putt. Brutal. Look at that clubhouse in the back there. That's pretty cool. The waterfall. Okay. My finishing hole. Pretty short par four. Oh no. Way off the toe with the face open. Not too much trouble, looks like. Another little bit of a pull. That's gotta go. Go forward. Oh no. Making it hard to finish here. Okay. Auto putted from the fringe and uh, Moving on to hole number 10. Um, so let's see, what did I finish up at? Two over, two over. Okay, well, tough to finish there, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is E6 Connect with Mevo Plus, um, Sanctuary Golf Course. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time, thanks.